Hello, guys and gals, and whatever the hell you identify as, welcome to some more Plants vs. Zombies. That'd be the they used to call me, call me Frogman, because I used, I would hang out in the fog and jump out of paper. I'll never let that. <laughs> Sound like you're a bit of a creep. Oh dear, we have Mr. Psycho over here. Yeah, um, yeah. If he winds up his music box all the way, um, he will essentially blow up, which will have the same effect as cherry bombs. But this time, instead of killing zombies, uh, it killed my plants, so that is not good. Anyway, um, now we can use the um, night time mushrooms. So yeah, things are a lot better now. And um, we'll do this one. This one is always good to have with water ones. And here comes the fog. Yep, this is the one drawback. This is the this is the major drawback of this level, is at night time fog rolls in, and it is super annoying because you cannot tell like where the zombies are coming from, which lane, so you kind of have to guess at this point, and hope that you get it right, and I think there's a zombie here. Yeah, of course. Kill him! Murder him! Oof. Okay. Let's have the little guys at the front, because since uh, they can only shoot so far. Ah, I saw, I saw his little eye poking through the hole. Okay, you gotta really be focused on this one. This one, like I said, once you keep moving on, there's gonna be points when you have to really hard focus on everything that's happening, because one one wrong move and it's all downhill from here. Click the sun, you nitwit. Oh, fudge. I don't know where he is. He's there. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, thank God. That gave me some um, not so great feels in the stomach. Oh no! This is bad. I didn't realise he was a cone zombie in the water. Kill him! Ah. Oh my god! Just kill the bloody bastard! Of course. Fine. Really forcing my hand here. This, this game. This is. Like, I honestly hate. This is my least favorite one, just because of how nerve-wracking it can be. Because it's. It's a complete guessing game at this point. Now this one. He, this is a good one because. Um, yeah, let's see through the fog. But um, there's another one you can get, which essentially uh, is a is a little uh, clover, like a three-leaf clover. And it acts as a sort of a windmill, and it blows all the fog away, along with a balloon zombie. That'll come in handy later on. But yeah, 
Um. Uh, um. Do I really want that though? I mean, I could just easily just place zombies and um, plants and just guess. It's probably best to just try and guess. Hmm. Anyway, I'll use I'll use this if I get in, in a, a sticky situation. But yeah, like it's not really good to use the lamps. I don't think the lamps are really that great. I think it's better just to go in blind at this point. Come on. Jesus. The mushrooms used to be able to easily kill these guys. I mean, sure, you're not the strongest, but at least you're able to get the job done. smoothly at the moment but things can easily go south as they can easily go smoothly I probably should have placed this one in here. Hmm. Might seem like a dumb decision to do, but hear me out. Since these guys don't reach that far, I wanna and I, I wanna mainly have two rows of the long ones, long ranged uh, ones. So yeah, it might seem dumb, but hear me out. It's uh. Hopefully it'll work. Um, hopefully, anyway. If I see a football zombie pop out of the fog, one point, I'll just place the freeze mushroom down. Fully fortified defences. You can't get through this. You can't penetrate this. This is impenetrable. I would make a joke there, but um, I feel like that might um, be a bit sour. So I'm going to refrain. <laughs>
What if there was like a football? There was actually a football zombie in here, but like they, they were able to kill it. Who knows? Fences are do doing well, doing pretty good, pretty solid. Right, the mushrooms are chewing away through his helmet. His helmet should come off any second now. Come on. Cactus boy. Alright, these guys are good. Especially dealing with uh, uh, balloon zombies. Which I think we're going to have to deal with now. Yep. Yep. Since uh, these cactus guys, they'll just spring up into the air and pop. Okay. Yeah, we got to really go decide what plants we want to take with us and what we want to leave. Seems like we don't really need this at the moment because we're managing just fine. Until we get like diver zombies at some point. I don't know. But either way, it seems like we're managing at the moment, so. Don't really need them. Don't really need the, um. The. 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 Whatever they are. I don't know what plant they are. Like some of them I can guess, like mushrooms, cactus, but. Others I just downright don't know sometimes, especially in the newer game. Like in Plants vs Zombies 2, like there are plants that they make that I have never even heard of. But, I don't know, it, it is interesting uh, to find out how many plants actually exist. Ooh, that was great placement. Epic plays by your boy. You know how it is. You know what's up. Oh, even more epic placements. Oh, the ultimate gamer coming in over here. Right, place that down. Just get ready. Just to prepare for the inevitable placement. These guys are good. Problem is, they they take forever to like. Their car takes forever to like grow, or however you want to put it. Dog crap. I forgot about the the, the the part thing! The zombie! Gimme! I totally forgot about the balloon zombies. Ah! Ah, I totally forgot. Uh, uh, see, I told you, you've got to keep on your feet. You've got to keep on your feet with this game. Because one wrong move... And it could be game over. I know I have a lawnmower to take care of him, but the thing is, is that you do not want to be like, oh, I have a lawnmower, it's fine. Because very soon you won't have a lawnmower. Hopefully that was the right placement. If not, I have just doomed myself. You know when I said that the sea monster thing would be use wouldn't be useful. 
Yeah, I was kind of wrong, weren't I? Give it a minute. Should die at some point. There we go. See, this is the one. This is the one I was talking about. But again, I just don't see much point. Like, I guess he would be useful. Yeah, with the, like with dealing with the balloon zombies. So, if I do see a balloon zombie, I can just place him down. But I don't know. Again, I seem to be managing quite fine, but since he costs less than Cactus, then I guess I use it. But I think he takes longer to, to charge. Oh, this game becomes a real thinker after a while, don't, doesn't it? Becomes a real thinker. Real thonker. Think a thonka. I haven't been saying much because I have been hard focusing because I am really trying to concentrate my best on not dying. Just something I think you can all um, all relate to. Anyway. Boom! Right. Move on to the water next. You see, it's a good idea to place um, the mushrooms here, because if you can't see any zombies in here, place them right at the edge. You can briefly see the little little uh, mushrooms um, shooting, so you know there's gonna be, so you know they're shooting at a zombie because well, they're on this lane. So you're like, oh, okay, if okay, so I should probably place a plant there or something. Ah, smart tactics, you see. Now you get it. Now you get it. You get it. I'm just waiting for when I hear a dolphin. Because the dolphin zombies are such a pain in the butt to deal with. Because they can just jump over the like zombies. They're like they're essentially the um, equivalent of Gatlin of the uh, Gatlin. No, no, the javelin zombies. Pretty sure I heard a balloon. Either way, now we can see. Hey, look! I can actually have I have visualization on what's happening. And now that I have a steady supply of sun, I'm pretty sure this can keep going smoothly. 
And he, they regenerate quite fast. I don't know what, what, how you would put this whole light thing going. I don't know how else you would really word it. Oh, what the f- Murder him! Kills him! Oh, well that ain't good. Perfect prediction. Couldn't see a thing. Oh my god. What? He jumped over? My ass he did. Oh for fudge sakes. Oh come on! No, you're dying. You're dying. You're dying. Oh my god, these these plants! What the fuck? Oh, now he's dead. Christ! Kill the zombie! You need absolute twat! Ah! Oh my god! Give me heart attacks out here! Force my hand! Didn't want to have to use the ice zombie and we got a tuck hole. Congratulations! Here's a prize, you get a taco. I know. You found the most tuck hole! I must have it, I'll give you a five. Ten. Whoa, okay, mate. Chillax. Give me a thousand. You have to taco, it's mine. Why they give you so much money for it? Because I'm crazy! Think I'll go in my truck, but no, yes, I got some new hate from the stock. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're getting, actually getting some good stuff. As you can see, so with this one. Yeah, okay. So this one shoots all around. Like every direction it has like a little tube thing. It shoots all around. And pretty far and they do a good amount of damage. These ones, these are the best plants. Like this is definitely, this is, they're definitely top tier. This is top tier level plants. And that is... The cats can um, shoot like little spikes, and the spikes are essentially homing missiles. So the nearest and closest zombie to it, it will fire at that zombie. So these are really good and really useful. However, they are quite expensive. But we'll move on. All vase breakers. This is a this is a cool mini game. I would meet my buddy Harvey. Every flax cast. I used to make verses when we were born. Well, I was out of town, so y'all come with me, Harvey. Okay? What do you mean, Harvey? So yeah, these are completely random. They can have a plant or a zombie, and you essentially have to break all of them and kill all the zombies that come out. So it's best to break. Yeah, it's best to do that and break all of them until you eventually get a zombie or like a plant. Like if you get a plant. Uh, just wait until there's a zombie on the row. Actually, you know what? This is boring. It's taking too long. Yeah, there's three rounds. You got like three rounds. If that was too easy for you, think of me. Man, you broke those races nice and good. Look at like the time I broke my back digging up through those trash cans. Who I thought you, you, you said. I ever bought you more vases. Gotta be careful about breaking them too fast though. You don't want to end up with more zombies than you can handle. Yeah, the green ones are guaranteed with plants, so they're sort of a, a, a scapegoat. Okay. Mm. 
probably won't be able to kill him. That might. Who knows? This will. Hang on, let's get double zombies. Oh yeah, that's how we roll. Whoa. Right, let's just place a bunch of plants down. Oh wait, let's do this. Yeah, the, this might seem easy, but this gets really hard. Yeah, especially when they're like this. Make those faces and you'll be able, and you'll be done. Yeah, like especially since um. Oh boy, yeah, this is bad. Come on, fudge. Ah, the cards disappear over time. Okay, I want to try and hypnotize the disco zombie, so that way I have a whole... There we go. I thought I already got that achievement. Or, is it, or does it only work with Steam if uh, you um, do it twice? It's kind of dumb. That you uh, needed, no honesty. And there we go. <laughs> Hit those zombies. Hit no plants. Hit the mushrooms. Whatever. Yeah. That again. You might think, oh, that looks easy. It doesn't get easy. Trust me. Okay. So open them up that. And yeah, that's basically. You get more. You get more in the shop. Or you get like several like um, different rows that come in really that, um, come in quite handy. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, that's gonna be have to be it for today's video. Really looking, really enjoying this. This is really fun, just replaying Plants of Zombies. And I know I didn't talk much in this video, but I was honestly hard focusing so much just not to die. I, I didn't want to just screw up in some huge way. I'm so sorry, but I was honestly fo try tr focusing too much. But I'll, I'll try to be better. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway, if, with minus the me talking. So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a comment down below, make sure to share this video with your friends. And um, yeah, um, catch you guys all later. Peace out, y'all.